So far, we've covered what gear you'll need to get started, and we've created an inventory of all the things that you have to do or aspire to. There is, however, one more critical thing that you'll need to get started, a purpose. If you're here because of the examples that you've seen online, then you probably have formed an idea of what the bullet journal method is, or more accurately, what purpose it serves. If that is the case, then I invite you to let go of your preconceptions. Bullet journal will become whatever you think it should be. So if you think it should be what somebody else is doing, then it may not serve you very well. Though it's wonderful to have a community that can support and inspire you in your practice, we should avoid comparing ourselves to what other people are doing. How others practice Bujo may have no relevance on how you end up bullet journaling. This methodology is about self-exploration. Your practice is designed to become a reflection of your life and your needs. What a single working mother of twins needs is very different from what a community organizer with a pet may need, or an artist with a chronic illness, or a student, or a doctor. Before you start bullet journaling, it's really important to spend some time considering how this practice can best serve you based on your current circumstances. And a good place to start is by thinking about what brought you here. Chances are that you discovered the bullet journal method because you were looking for a way to tackle a certain challenge or challenges. Maybe it was to be more organized, focused, productive, mindful, frugal, intentional, healthy, or maybe a little bit of all of the above. Bullet journaling can help you with all those things and more, much more. In fact, it's easy to get distracted and overwhelmed by all the things that it can be. That's why it's so important to define and clarify what it needs to be for you. So before we get started, let's take some time to define what you want to get out of this practice. And we can do this by setting an intention. But what is an intention? I like to define an intention as a commitment to a process. That process must be specific to a purpose that you value, something that you believe to be meaningful. For example, I want my bullet journal practice to help me become more productive. Or I want my bullet journal practice to help me become more focused and organized. Or I want my bullet journal practice to help me become healthier. Notice that these intentions focus on process rather than outcome. We'll touch on this a little bit later, but the reason for this is that we can't control an outcome. What we can control is the process. In general, we want to focus our time and energy on things that we can control. This is why we want to set an intention. Intentions can also serve as powerful anchors, especially when you're first starting out. As we make our way through this course, we'll be covering a lot of different kinds of tools and techniques. By having this intention, you'll be able to match a tool with one of your needs. In other words, by setting an intention, it will make it much easier for you to connect the dots. It needs to feel relevant and helpful. Otherwise, it may seem pointless and you'll quickly lose motivation and maybe abandon it altogether. So let's start by clarifying our purpose by setting an intention. Please turn to your intentions page in your notebook. Or if you don't have one, turn to the third blank set of facing pages, also known as a spread, and write down your intention or your intentions for your Bujo practice. Think about what you're struggling with what you're striving towards, the things that you want more of and the things that you want less of in your life. You can use these to create your intention. But don't worry, you don't have to overthink it. You're not going to be married to this. You can and should change your intentions over time as your circumstances change. For now, just see what comes up and start with that. If possible, try adding the reason why you're setting this intention. Knowing your why can be a powerful way to connect with your intention and keep you motivated over time. Ask yourself, why is this intention meaningful to me? Why am I doing this? Again, you don't have to overthink it. Any reason that makes this intention feel meaningful is perfectly fine. Here are some examples. 
I want my bullet journal practice to help me be more organized because I feel terrible letting people down who are counting on me when I'm disorganized. Or I want my bullet journal practice to help me develop better dietary habits because I want to be around for my children for as long as possible. Or I want my bullet journal practice to help me become more aware of the good in my life. I think it will make me a happier person, which will have a positive impact on those around me. Your intention elevates your bullet journal practice from simply being another to-do list. With your intention in place, this notebook becomes the first chapter in your journey, not in becoming that version of yourself, but in actually being that version of yourself right now. See, your intention, again, is not a goal. It's a commitment to a process. And a process that starts from the moment you set your intention and only ends when it no longer serves you. That's a process that can begin right now. So please take a few moments and set your intention.